Let's hope it's a classy truck this evening. It is a classy truck this evening. Stands in though with the classy emotes. Happy nope, we're gonna go and play with the Merc. We're gonna go and play with that DLC. That's what we're gonna do. First, I'm gonna tab out and fix something. Which is that. There we go, that's better. Happy anniversary, Nata. Okay, let's put together a nice Merc, shall we? Oh, let me get this straight, you're only valuable if you pay. There we go. I'm just going to ignore that comment. Happy anniversary. The mighty Merc indeed. Stream space, big space or giga space. Hmm. Come on, I like the stream space. I think we'll go with the stream space. Mr. Ponko, thank you for four months. Four months of flying by. Keep on trucking. Thank you, dude. Uh, right then. What should we go for? What did we have last time? Did we go four by two on the death? Yeah, we did. No, we don't put the second cam on while we're configuring. Trucker Chris, 21 months. Where's the time gone? Keep up the great work, sir. I will. I will indeed. What we went? Oh yeah, we went six by four, didn't we? That's right. Yeah, because we're doing some heavy hauling stuff. Hmm. I really fancy eight by four, to be honest. Six by two is very. I'm planning to go to Russia. I'm thinking 4x2, A for the long haul, and B because we'll probably find ourselves in some tight spaces, so I think I might go 4x2 on this. All right, engine. White then suggests I should get the 625, but I say to him that's a bit too powerful and that realistically you would probably have not quite as powerful engine, but I know he, he loves me to go 625, like the max. So I think... I think we might go with a Euro 6 510. Maybe like a 510 would do it. That gives us options. You're going to go to Center Parks next week. I've never actually been to Center Parks. Which one are you going to? Sorry, Connor. I did indeed. Almost four years. Yeah, can't believe it's almost four years. October 2015 is when I first subbed. When the Mafia 2 stream in the Adventures of Vito. Dude, was that four years ago? That's insane. I enjoyed that Mafia 2 playthrough. I really did. Um, 12 speed retarder sounds fine to me. Long Leap Forest. Long Leap Forest, I think, is... Is that the one in Nottinghamshire? I'm trying to think what that one is. There's one... The nearest to me is, oh, what's it called? Oh, that's Sherwood, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Mr. Chu, how you doing, sir? I heard that maybe Trucker's MP will support Pro Mods. Is that true? I have no idea. I think they they want to. Don't know if they can make it happen. It'd be great if they did. Well, that's true, Connor. Stream space, exclusive. Uh, we'll go normal. I don't fancy the exclusive. I think we went wood last time. Longly is Somerset. You spelt Somerset wrong, but I understand. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Funnily enough, Somerset is spelt Somerset. It's one of those things. Right, color. Color, color, color. Don't suppose there's any paints in the DLC, is there? Like Happy anniversary. One. There's Nata. one paint skin in the DLC. And that's that one. Eh. Yeah. 
Long Leet is in Wiltshire, apparently. Not in Somerset. I'll let you argue that one with Google. Gold, amber. Silver grey. Quite like that. I love, I love this sort of colour. Thomas, I got a laptop for my 21st birthday, which was back in on Friday. Well, happy 21st, Thomas. My dad says it's a gaming laptop too, so I bought ETS2. Again, all the map DLCs and it works. I just need to buy ATS and the DLCs. So that means I might be able to join the next convoy. GG, sir. Yeah, wait for the Steam sales before you, you bring all that in, I would suggest. Are you going to go to Cosford again, Mr. Chu? I shall see you then. And Mr. Langevelt. And Durka. And Chewy. And Somi. I don't know who else is going, actually. I know Dre's pulled out. I can't remember who else is going now. Some big names. Welcome it's back. just the usual names, Langevelt. <laughs> Same people every time. Strike Eagle, welcome back. Bad Egg, thank you for four. Uh, Mr. Chu, are you going, what, Friday, Saturday? What are you doing? All right, I've got the Kelter bars for the MP installed, so we've got some options here. The same mad crew, exactly. You've lived in Bristol for 30 years, so I've visited Longleat a lot, definitely in Wiltshire. There you go. That sounds fairly definitive. Does Cosford in Squirrel language mean drinking times? Always. <laughs> when, when is the not drinking on Friday night? Happy anniversary, Nutter. You come the same day as Brenda, but leaving on Monday. Uh, when does Brendan go? Hang on, let me let me ask him. Need to find out. Okay, we'll see if we get a text back. A bit too fast for you. Thank you for 61 wholesome months. I missed you this weekend. Keep on trucking. Thank you, sir. Rocky John, thank you for eight. Right, visor bar. Painted visor bar. That's interesting. Happy A high bar. Nutter. High bar looks better on this particular, I think. I think the visor bar would work better on the taller cabins so we'll go with that Got plenty of options as well uh, let's see let's get some uh, horns back here actually let's put the let's put this down first and see what that looks like okay I'm trying to work out if a horn here would conflict I'm guessing it will That doesn't work like that. Oh, that's really annoying. If you put it here, it clips into this bit of aerofoil or whatever. So we have to put it on the side. We'll have to put it here, maybe. That looks pretty good. It's going to have to go there. We'll put the 2P there. Black or not Happy black. It's very Nutter. subtly catching into the intake, but it works okay. Yeah, I would have liked to have put it here, but it doesn't work. So that will get rid of the um get rid of the bacon. It works pretty well. 
Got a nice chrome effect on it. Uh, this is the base game truck, Teddy, but I'm using some mods to get that particular light bar and that particular set of horns. But we have got the actual DLC, so. Wacko Tanko, thank you for 32 months. Right, lighting. Let's just put this on first. Right, so we've got some new actual stuff here. Samurai. Titan. That looks absolutely awful. As does that. I think it's going to be that one. That works well with the chrome here as well. Uh, this is a Kelsa mod for the MP3, MP4, which is in the mod spreadsheet. Let's get some lighting. I mean, in theory, you could possibly put bacon there. Would look a bit awkward, though. Mm. Happy anniversary, Nutter. You don't like Mercs as a cruder. Explain to me what you've got against Mercedes trucks. Tepo, thank you for 44 months. Happy trucking to you. Right, now then, do we put the light Welcome on this back. door or this door? Let's have a look. We don't want any of the off-road stuff. I like the Actros as well. I mean, I've sat in the Actros quite a few times at Truck Fest. They're really nice trucks. I have not seen it with digital mirrors now. Looks nice painted, doesn't it? Mercs are great and all, but it's all about the Iveco. Wait. So you rate the Iveco truck over the Mercedes truck? That's a surprise to me. Full plastic. I like the full paint. We'll take that. What's this one? Full paint. Okay. So we can either have this chrome trim or we can get rid of the chrome trim. What I can't work out is the difference between this one and no, that says painted that says full paint that says blue right Happy okay anniversary, so because of this chrome here and here and here i'm going to go with that version of it i quite like it being painted at the back but with the chrome trim going around it uh elemental hero not appreciated in my chat One of the Merc lights. The Merc lights look good. They do look good, but I'm trying to do something different. Now, the main question is, do we put it on the lower, on the upper bit like that? Does it sit better on that bracket mount? Can't really get in close enough to see. Do we go for that? It's 
so I, I just want to zoom in and have a really close look at this. But I think I think the lower mounting point looks slightly better, but I can't see if something's clipping or not. It's really, really difficult to tell, but I think the lower mount point works. Welcome no, they're not even, Jim Bob. There's, there's an upper and a lower mounting point, and I'm trying to work out which one works better. You already spent some hours modifying the truck to your liking in Blender. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I like the closest you can get is here. And it frustrates me. It really frustrates me. But it is what it is. Right, let's do that. Let's get rid of this upper one. Let's take the lower point there. Whoops, wrong button. It's either going to be three or five lights. Three may be the way to go. But let's have a look at five. Five is full on, but it looks pretty good. No, I think we'll go with five. All right, Ozzy, have a good night. We'll take that. It's actually a low five, Tommy, not a high five. Five because Russian roads. That makes sense. Right, we've done all that. That is probably not an option. That is the flag. Painted. It's going to be the way to go. Chrome, possibly, on this build. I must admit, and I know this is like the official, the official stuff, but if I was Mercedes, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I would probably go for something that runs the length of this either either maybe chrome around the outside or some kind of chrome that cuts in and goes all the full length or even a half and half but i wouldn't this just looks like i mean i know it's meant to be the backing of that wide angle mirror but from this side it just feels a bit but i'm gonna take it because we've got the chrome thing going on yeah, exactly. Like a small strip moment. A strip that runs the length of it. Or at least make it an option. Blue Forever, thank you for four months. Good to be back. Welcome back. Mr. Byron, thank you for the uh, Twitch baby. Ears. It is a bit like having ears. Emblem LED. So that presumably lights up, but doesn't appear to. Welcome back, Nutter. Hmm. All right, go with it. Mercedes Actros emblem. Chrome emblem. Fair enough. Right. It's too bad you can't see the interior or lights illuminating the configurator. Yeah, I don't get that either. Welcome back, Nutter. The new Actros doesn't have an outside mirror left and right. Has it got those digital mirrors? That must be really, really... I would love to hear from truck drivers who've, like, been given a truck with those digital mirrors. Like, how did they cope with it? Was it... Was it really easy to convert to it, or was it just takes a while to get used to? No depth perception. Is that true? Isn't it just a camera? Actually, that's that's actually, George, you might have a point though. very practical yeah but do you lose depth perception 
Because with a mirror, you, you're still getting stereoscopic vision. But if you're getting a camera, aren't you losing the stereoscopic vision? Because if, if that's the case, surely that's an issue. I don't know. I need, I need to ask a truck. Maybe at next year's truck fest, I can find somebody who's got the uh, digital mirrors and I want to chat with them. Blue Subaru, welcome back. Villa Villain, welcome back. Traffic Rat, welcome back. <laughs> Whoa, shorten those URLs, dude. <laughs> you think depth perception is fine? It can't be if it's just a camera. The 4K image. Yeah, we're not on about the resolution. We're talking about the depth. If you lose stereoscopic depth that you get from a mirror, surely that's a problem when you're reversing a trailer. That's what I'm trying to get to the bottom of. But we need to speak to somebody who's actually used it. Hey, Callum. Razor. Not a fan of that. Unless you want a Mad Max config. Extra. It's a bit weird. Thor. Quite like the Merc things, but... <clears throat> Painted. Chrome. Definitely painted. There's too much chrome otherwise. The new Twitch advert is annoying. Dude, I agree. <laughs> this one has a feature that uses a few cameras around the car. Yeah, I mean, I've seen that on cars where you get a top-down overall view and stuff. I mean, I, how long will it be before they'll just have auto parking on trucks <laughs> like they've got with cars? All right, we'll take that. Just saw a teaser trailer from TMP and they showed a roundabout at Cali. It has four exits. The base game only has three and Promods has four. So it might be a Promods TMP is coming. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Chrome and exclusive. Do you know what? That actually looks nasty. That looks nasty. Because, I mean, the whole thing is chrome. So why would you put chrome backplate in there? Like, even that looks better. And then that's the glowy one, presumably. Alright, we'll take it while it's exclusive. While it's DLC exclusive. Right, we've well, we got plastic. Painted. Chrome and plastic. Plastic and chrome. Wait, what? Chrome and plastic. Plastic and chrome, so it just basically reverses that. And then paint and chrome, but no chrome and paint. Why not? No, probably that one. Yeah, I know it lights up. Paint, chrome, and plastic. Let's see. Plastic and chrome. Paint and chrome. Chrome. Yeah, I prefer... I, pre, I, I like it when chrome is used to, like, accent things, to just highlight things. I don't like it when it just goes awash with chrome. Do that. 
All right, Chuck Chris, have a good one. Do you have an ET on the Class 47 video? So, Jim Boliath, the Class 47 video belongs to a set of four videos, right? Or four VR 180 videos. The Class 47 is the one that's being finished off tomorrow, probably. Yeah, that's the plan. So, tomorrow, the plan is to submit all four VR 180 videos to Google to approved. Assuming they do that fairly quickly, and assuming there's no problems with any of them, the plan is, once all four are approved, to put all four out back to back. Like, on each day for four days. Um, I hope, I hope to be able to do that before the end of the month. But once you submit it to Google, it's all in their hands to approve. And if anything comes back, if there's any problem, I'll have to fix it. I hope there aren't. But the Class 47 video won't go out until all four are ready. And I don't have an ETA. Because I can't control Google. I wish I could. <laughs> but yeah, as soon as they're all approved, I will schedule all four. And you'll be able to see all four of them. The Class 47 video is probably going to be the fourth one. It's probably going to be the fourth video out of the set. Um, the first one's going to go out. I'm not telling you what the first one is because it's a surprise. Uh, the second one is probably going to be... Welcome uh, back. Actually, no, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm wrong. I think the second one is going to be... Either the train or the Porsche. can't remember the exact, exact order. I think the tractor one is going to be the fourth one. Happy anniversary, Nata. Depends if you're verified or not. Nothing to do with it. It depends how busy Google are. Because basically it has to go through Google's legal department. Because it's a contract, so it has to go through them. And they have to make sure that it's like everything's fine. There's no copyright music in there. There's no, Happy you know, it's not, an, not a, a, a sponsored video or anything. Like all the usual stuff they have to go through. What's a Class 47? It's a train. They're really, they're really interesting videos, the four of them. I think you'll... Um, I mean, obviously the best, the, the absolute best way to watch the VR180 videos is on a headset. Like, there's no doubt about that. But if you get like a Google Cardboard, which are about 12 quid, you can put your mobile phone in the back of it. And you can basically, when you when you put it on YouTube, when you play on YouTube, there's a thing that you can click that looks like the cardboard shape, like two eyepieces. And you click that and it splits the screen and plays a different image into each eye so that when you put it in the cardboard you, you put it to your face like binoculars and you can look around and see it all in 3d so you can get a cardboard um if you if you order yourself a google cardboard you'll be able to do it when the videos go out if you haven't got any of that you can still watch it it's just that you're watching it in 2d which is uh let me let me tell you when you get to some of the videos you watch them in 3d it's it's like the, it's just like the experience is unbelievable they are so good when you watch them on a headset. Well, build your own, Tommy. You just need to make sure that you get the IPD exactly right. Does VR work if you have limited vision in one eye? No. No. I mean, if you if you can't see in, in stereoscopic vision now, like, if one of your eyes doesn't work, you can't see stereoscopic. So it makes no difference watching in 3D. You may as well just watch it in 2D. Yeah, because if you can't see now in 3D, I can't make it so that you can, <laughs> if you see what I mean. Yeah, 3D glasses won't make any difference. It won't make any difference to the video. Can you watch them on a 3D TV? Um, actually don't know if YouTube player supports that, Dave. I don't know. I don't think so. I think you have to have either a, a, a VR headset or a Google Cardboard to watch it in 3D. Everything else I think is 2D. Could be wrong. But if you want to know what it's like, like to sit in the cab, get the 3D headset and watch it on that. Because it really is stunning. Right, we'll do some lighting, maybe. Let's do this dot. Painted or plastic. Oof, definitely painted.
Sandy's Mercedes Chrome. Is this the mud? mud? Yeah. Actually, they look pretty different. Painted ones. We'll say no to that. Your left eye vision wasn't awesome after having two strokes. It's pretty bad. Yeah, I honestly, I feel for you. Um, but all, all that a headset's going to do is present one image to one eye and a slightly different image to the other eye. That's all it's going to do. So if your vision's impaired in that eye, say, then you're not going to see that image. Happy anniversary. If you can still see with both eyes, then you can experience 3D with a headset. How's my day? Not bad. Thank you. Plymouth Reliance, thank you for 60 months, five years. Wow. Happy anniversary, Plymouth. Enjoy the new acorn as well. Kelsa Airbar. Oh, mate. That's interesting. There are no Actros DLC bars. But my Kelsa mod adds a bunch. She's nice. Aye, 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 aye. You're filming in a VR on it since February this year. The movies really look good, but the camera's only 500 euros, so I wonder how your videos will look like. A Plagiato, the, um, the, uh, the camera that I used, as you know, was an expensive one. And I think the image quality is 6K, so it's, it's pretty good. In fact, I think the image quality is higher than than what headsets can currently cope with so it's kind of future proofed like when high resolution headsets come out you'll be able to watch those videos again and see it in a better resolution than you can see it today dave from 84 as i've done five years in the nuthouse can i get an early release lol this is the famous two hour config from the truck it seems that way front mount low bar Low bar looks good apart from here where it doesn't you see that gap though it doesn't actually meet the fairing if it did it would look fantastic uh is that recorded on ssd no you have to put two high speed memory sticks into the camera and each eye each camera records to its own memory stick and then excuse me then you have to take the footage from each memory stick and stitch them together so that they're synchronized with each other. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of work making those videos. To go with that, I think. Let's see what these look like. If it's all the way around. None of these are particularly. See, I like that one the most, but I don't know if I can live with that gap. Is this one? There's a certain amount of awkwardness to it because it seems to cut into the fairing. And the default ones go all the way around, which I don't like again, so I'm going to have to compromise on something, so I'll compromise on that. We'll take that one. But none of them are perfect. Original film movies of uncompressed of details and 8K footage. Yeah, if we used to record it uncompressed, the file sizes would be actually massive. <laughs> But the uh, the camera does like on the fly compression. Uh, 
Okay, that's a bit wacky. Some subtle. What do you mean by IMAX tapes, Sugwe? Ten, comp ten seconds uncompressed is a uh, six or eight gig. Yeah, the thing is, when you use cameras like that, the trick is to like only start recording when you have to. It's not one of those cameras you can just leave recording, and oh, we'll edit it out later. You've got to start recording, do the scene, cut. Because <laughs> the files are just gigantic. Decent enough. Like slow mo cameras or slow motion cameras. Like the slow mo guys on YouTube, the file sizes they have are just like monstrous. Do you take cameras out on a recent flight? No, worked out that I can't really use a VR one eighty camera in in GA flying. That there's just no. Uh, the the problem is with a GA plane, it's built to be light. So all the materials are quite lightweight and flexible. And with a camera like that, you have to have like super stability. So there's just nowhere to actually mount the camera to. Welcome to the nut house. Uh, Kuyakom, if you're feeling a little impatient, maybe just take a break for 10 minutes, and come back. We may be a bit further on by then. No promises. Half finger Pete, thank you for 72. 72 months i predict that that is a six year anniversary and that you have a twitch badge twitch colored purple badge our finger pete thank you so very much uh anthony felinski thank you and welcome to the house anthony thanks for nutty welcome guys six years man stock or serpent i quite like stock actually Than that dot. Interesting how that's got an option dot, but there's actually nothing you can do. That's a bit weird. Okay, so you've got stock, you've got paint and plastic. Let's have a look. Wow, the whole side panel. Paint and plastic. Paint modern. As opposed to stock. The only difference is that black trim though. Have I been? I've been fine, thank you. Plastic paint, chrome, or chrome 2. That's interesting. Let's have a look at this. Chrome or chrome 2. Blimey. If you put that around it, it's fully chromed up. That's well posh, that is. That's basically somebody spent far too much money on optional extras. <laughs> The black is making the truck look cheap. What black is that? Which black do you mean? Do the wheels in a minute. What does that do? Plastic side stripe. Paint or chrome. 
I have a problem with this because you can't do anything about that plastic arm. So if you make this chrome, it just looks weird. black trim on the wheels what that you think that makes it look cheap get rid of the front mirror uh, let's do that then let's get rid of the front mirror I wouldn't normally put chrome though but I'm going to do it just to make it look snazzy with the rest of it all. Mercedes, chrome down there. Nice. Interesting. Whoa, jeez, man. <laughs> That's a bit much. <laughs> Yeah, we've been talking and chatting like while I've been configuring. Okay, right, let's do this. Diva, oh boy. Centurion, Thor. Holy moly. See, like when you put these exhausts on, it should really change what the engine sounds like. But I bet it doesn't. <laughs> Happy anniversary. An engine with that on would sound very different to a default exhaust. But I don't think it will. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. It's a bit too bling. Diva. That's not too bad, actually. It's one exhaust for 1.5 cylinders, Rome. Lol. Barry Tone, thank you for 38 months. Nice shirt. You like it? I like the shirt. I've got a dark blue one of it as well. Basic painted. That is very, very basic. Exclusive painted. Okay, that's a lot better. Plastic, plastic and chrome. Definitely cheapens the deal. Paint. Paint with chrome is probably going to be... And full bling. Holy chrome, Batman. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Welcome back, Nata. Wait, it's a no option. Where's the exhaust? Wait, if that's the exhaust, they're just foot plates then. I don't see a handle. I guess that's got to be the foot plates then. Just looks like a massive hole to me. This looks weird. But, I guess. Tana and the Ranger. Hmm. Let's see what the Kelsa stuff has. Okay, in that case, it's going to be Katana. I don't like... I don't want the orange lamps down there, even though we've got a couple here. We'll just take that. I like, I like the angles. I like the curve on that. I like the curves. All right, Wobbly, have a good one. Let's see what we've got going on. Diva stocks in Turin Thor. Wow, that is... Happy that is radical. Nutter. I'm going to go with that because it is so very different. So very different to anything else. 
Arcade Forest, thank you for 28 months. Another month of great content. You're welcome. Thank you for the support, as ever. Overtake. Lots of options here. Look at this. King of the Road? Squeeze me. This isn't a Scania. Look, squeeze me. Tougher than the rest. Oh, boy. Mercedes Chrome. Yeah, that's got to that's work with this build. Painted. Oh, like that. I like how you can configure the, um, the, these, like, the mud guards here and, and over the top if you want them. I don't know. I quite, I quite like it without, but I mean, it looks good with both. I'm going to leave it without. I think it. I like the line of it because this this whole flat surface here just runs nicely like that. And then you've just got the fifth wheel sticking out the top. I'm going to go with that, I think. Okay, just need to pick some wheels for this, and then do the inside. Right, so they didn't add any wheels in this DLC pack, which is a shame. Chrome wheels doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Not mad about them either. How much is DLC? Not entirely sure. They work fairly well. Get some nice black ties on them. That might work. Let's have a look. Yeah, K Max works quite well. Peter, thank you for 33 months. Nice rear lights. I like them. They're pretty good, aren't they? Right, so Goodyear K Max S there. And Elite Rider Chrome there. Let's see what we can find. Chrome. There's no rider then. Hey, Max, not fuel, Max. Hmm. There's no 31570K, Max, only an 80, which is going to make it too big. That's annoying. Fuel max on there. Wonder why there's no three one five seventy drive tire for the K Max. I didn't see one. When I looked in here for K Max, there's a three one five eighty, but there's no three one five seventy. Oh wait, is that it? But that's got a completely different logo. Yeah, it's a completely different tire. Damn. 
That's really weird. That's a Generation 2 K-Max. Okay, well that works. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, 19 King, thank you for 17 months and 298 specific bits. <laughs> thank you for the support, 19 King. Could put Black Raven, Black Raven uh, wheel nuts on there. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's have a look inside. Standard, definitely. There's no DLC wheel. Uh, hoping that sat nav works, so I shouldn't need one over here. Lighting, what's that? Uh, Jack Sparrow, thank you for half a year. Don't want a table. Just put some dots in there. Is it is it ready? Is it time for a Christmas tree yet? <laughs> a sonic screwdriver. Why would you want that? No. Why would you want this in your cab? I don't get it. That's what you want. To remind you of the best truck ever. Fifteen hundred dollars for a Christmas tree. Was that what it was? Fifteen hundred euros for that. You could buy like ten full size trees for that. That's ridiculous. Ay 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 ay. A Yoda bobblehead. Kilmowski, thank you for a thousand bits. Thanks for all the great trucking. You're welcome, and thank you for uh, supporting the stream, Kilmowski. Put Wally over there. Um, a leather briefcase. What a horrible color. Nobody has a briefcase like that. That's a, that's a really nasty color. Yeah, I'll have a first aid kit. You never know. Mercedes old emblem. Yeah. yeah. Happy anniversary. I'm done here. Nutter. Thumbs. Oh, wow. Another one. 72 months. Six years of support. Thumbs. Happy anniversary. Thank you for supporting the stream for six years. Enjoy that lovely new acorn badge. I feel a little far back here. I feel like the seats need to be moved further forward. They feel so far back. Flip 
Flamingo. Welcome back. Thank you for El Plagiato. The gift in that. There we go. Two farming gears, two reverse gears. How many speed was this gearbox? Alright, Dave's in a bit. We are in Mahiljau. And as you can probably tell, just by the speed of this thing scrolling, I've got pro mods and the, what's it called? What's the name of the pro mods expansion? <sighs> Can't think of it. This bit, Greece, <laughs> Turkey, um, plus Ross map installed, Middle East. Thank you. Um, I've noticed that there's a bunch of roads here. There's even a city here. There's a bunch of roads that have not apparently been down, even though I probably have, but obviously I don't go down them very often. There's a couple of towns here, so I thought maybe we'd try and work our way through this bit and then up, taking some detour roads I and mean, just work this area a little bit, roughly heading maybe towards St. Petersburg way. Possibly take that road at some point. But just see where the job market takes us in that direction. So there is a ferry there or a bridge there, I think. So we can go that way if we can. So we could take that, but take the long road. Um, that looks pretty good. So the tail lights on going. So we'll take these fuel tanks and uh, go to here, then try and take something through there, I think. Yeah, so the indicators are in the center. And presumably the reverse lights are there. And they're the parking, uh, the bright lights. They're different. They're definitely different. Let's go and get our trailer. Turn left. Go around the roundabout. First exit. I don't think the truck's super silent. Take the exit.
How's that? You can't do chat now, Jaws. Nobody knows the area. Keep right. Then turn right. Turn right. Never had a pedal cam dry. It was always a slipper cam. <laughs> China needs an update. Turn left. I thought it already had a version two. You have reached your destination. Your destination is on the left. Oh, that might look quite good. Two point one has Russia integrated. Oh man, I'm only running two point oh. Sorry. I knew the Swatch Mother trailer would work with this truck. <laughs> uh, the Rust map he's using is on the mod spreadsheet. Yes. Uh, the one that's the unofficial update for 1.35. I think it's Rust map 1.90 right. Rust map 1 is an unofficial update because the original author hasn't upgraded it yet from 131 or so. Keep right. Then turn right. Turn right. Must I have the uh, Asus Gladius mouse? I the illuminated logo in the window. No gear there. It's a 5H. Have your iPhones arrived? I didn't order an iPhone to them. when you upgrade phones, you've got to buy new screen protectors, new cases, like it's all a massive hassle. MX5 Mark, thanks for three months. Three cameras. There was a situation on, on Friday, Dre, where I could have used that extra widescreen camera, but that's no reason to upgrade yet. Now, is it me, Dre, or is it going in the same direction as uh, Gillette did with the razors back in the in the 90s, when it went from single blade to two blades to three blades, and then we ended up with razors with four blades and then five blades, like, <laughs> and so we end up with like a razor with like 24 blades, takes half your face off in one stroke. And it'd be like that, the whole back of the phone will just be full of lenses. 
so that no matter what subject you've got, you can choose a lens that's, that's perfect for it. And then you remember that it's actually not a camera, it's meant to be a phone. <laughs> I know people use the cameras on phones, but it's still a camera a phone first and foremost. Although you can argue that a phone's primary use now is actually not to be a phone. Because most people that use phones now seem to just text with their thumbs, because obviously that's quicker. So instead of phoning somebody up and actually having a conversation, you just get your thumbs out and start misspelling loads of words and having it autocorrect for you. Because that's the future, right? Using your thumbs on a keyboard that was designed to slow you down. It's perfect. It's genius. If an alien race ever pulls up on our planet and just looks at our devices that we use, they're going to be like, what the heck? This civilization is not advanced enough for us yet. Let's come back in another millennia. You can still do that, Bob. Just get yourself one of those old Nokias. Get an old Nokia, you can just have a phone. But what I'm saying is most people don't Go seem to use the phone as the phone now. They use apps, don't they? They use WhatsApp, they use Snapchat, they use email on it. Like, most of what you do is browsing Instagram or... It's not actually calling somebody. How much do you call somebody on the phone compared to how much you use all the other apps? Thanks for pulling out and driving so slowly, Mr. Bus Driver. Clearly that guy doesn't watch my summer car, otherwise he'll know what I do to bus drivers. You've been looking for a feature phone for your mother-in-law, there aren't many. When you say a feature phone, I'm not sure what you mean. on smartphone. Oh, right. So just get one of those Nokias then. 33, whatever it is. Yeah, if you just want phone and text. The advantage of those, cat is the, like, the battery on them lasts about five days now. It's just crazy. Because they've got the new battery tech, but they don't have all the apps, so the batteries are just insane. Thanks. Yeah, 3310, that's what. Let's get a 3310. Losing 2G coverage out there, so you have to find an LTE phone. I don't know if the 3310's an LTE, I assume it is. And the best thing is, you can have the original, original Nokia ringtone. Keep left. Yeah, you can play. You can play Snake on it. That's brilliant. Keep yes, please, Chris. Thanks. I just thought I didn't actually reroute this. Just like the whole point of this. All right, let's go via UK merge. What's going on here then? Why doesn't it let me go down there? Wait, what? UK merge appears to be very unmerged. <laughs> yes, that one, Vrome, exactly. Think how big Nokia would have been if it jumped an Android in day one. <sighs> what a what an amazing I mean, to be honest, though, hindsight 2020, then, but yeah. Okay, so I was going to go down that road, but now I've just changed my mind. I'll actually go that way. We can do that. We'll be late, but who cares?
No, you just need a very big ramp. That's what you need. A GTA ramp. Poof, straight over. Keep left. Yeah, we'll have to lose some money out of our billion euros. But hey, you don't get a billion by uh, not watching the pennies, right? Wobbly Weasel, thank you for three months. Snazzy. What does that say on top? The achievements of the people is immortal. Wow. That's pretty cool. That's very, uh, very socialist, isn't it? Very Russian. Casper Korn, welcome back. Blame Pro Mods UK merge failed. <laughs> I just love the fact that it's called UK merge and it's just not merged. That's just genius. It says the heroic dead of the people is immortal. Wait, what? The heroic dead of the people is immortal. Can somebody translate that for me? <laughs> then turn left. Turn left. Oh, the heroic deed. Ah, okay. The heroic deed of the people. I misread. Have I ever played Fortnite? Keep Can't right. say I have any Man, more desire to play Fortnite left. than I do to stick cocktail sticks in my eyes. Take the exit now, Phillips, thank you for the bits. I work in a second-hand shop and was amazed when I started at how many people still buy feature phones. I've never heard this phrase. Feature phones? What about CSGO? Um, the Keep trouble with CSGO one, as you well know, is I can't aim because it makes me hip fire everything. And I'm not massive on hip fire games. I like aiming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Blackmut with 3,000 biddies. Thank you very much, sir. You should have these bits that are burning a hole in my account. Cheers and thanks for the great entertainment. Well, thank you for the support, Blackmore. I do hope you're well. CSGO does have guns with scopes, Raven. Yes. The AWP being an example. But most of the guns don't. And you have to get enough money via the economy system to buy the guns with scopes. And if you can't, or if you don't have the gun, you have to hit fire. That's the thing. The only real solution is Classic Wild. Wow. Listen. Just because you succumbed to your addictions and I didn't, don't try tempting me. And you don't hit firing wow either, you click. <laughs> Hell Phillips, here's 300 more bits. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the biddies. Do you know it was Whiteland who wanted that null noise adding that you just played, El Phillips? Go straight on. Hunters are the only true gun users and they ninja loot everything. They do indeed ninja loot. Back in Classic WoW they used to do it quite a bit. And they can have the blunderbuss, can't they? Which is hilarious because the blunderbuss is actually a scatter weapon. 
Like, the barrel's literally shaped like that to just blast pellets. It's like a, a sawn-off shotgun, effectively. Righty, thank you for 35 months. Bullets kill, thank you for 42. I missed you Friday and Saturday. Appreciate that, thank you. Welcome back. Do you think Windows will ever do an update and call it double glazing? Doubt it. Thunderbuss is improved by Goblin Tech. It's actually just a rifle that exploded. Fair enough. Dave, I'm 84. You leave us bus drivers alone. We're a special bunch of people. Especially as it's freshest time. 1900, 2000 start and a staggering 04 finish. Nothing staggering about that, Dave. If you, you shouldn't be finishing at four, that's when you should be going, like, eating a kebab or carrying on with some more beer and then go to bed at seven. Dave, when was the last time you had a kebab? wasn't the wrong Dave at all. If you finish, if you finish stuff at four o'clock, that's when you go for a kebab. Three weeks ago. You've never had one, Kilmelski. Well, the problem with kebabs is the quality varies. So if your very first kebab was one of the one of the not so great ones, it could equally put you off. But if you have a really good kebab, you'd be like, oh wow. From 10, feature phone, a mobile phone that incorporates features such as the ability to access the internet and store and play music, but lacks the advanced functionality of a smartphone. Hashtag totally didn't Google that. I bet you Googled that. Ruben, thank you for 30. You're happy with bad kebabs. Yeah, but Dave, you have low standards, mate, you know? Easily pleased. Happy anniversary, Nata. That's why you're here, exactly. If I can entertain you, then you've obviously got low standards. How am I doing, James? Not bad. Well, that's a new emote. Oomph. <laughs> I don't think I've got that one. Squirrel right oomph. <laughs> oh, stop it with a 20 kilometer speed limit. Turn right. Hey, what? Where are they coming from? Dodgy shortcut. I love that. I love how on that side it's 20 limit, and on this side it's a 30 limit, and in between it's a 40 limit. That's actually genius. Oh, now it's a 20. Maybe I shouldn't have gone this way. Wait, 
go, 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 go. Don't stop. No, keep going. That's it. Keep going. There you go. I got through on his papers. You alright there, bro? Sorry, miss. Thanks for the uh, for the free pass. Much appreciated. I can push you all the way to Latvia if you want. Should we do that? We can do that. Just think of your miles per gallon right now. It's through the roof. Your Subaru, your MPG, your quoted MPG on this Subaru is actually crazy. The fuel savings are real. I think she's about to go though. I don't think she's going to cope with the bend very well. She might be saying goodbye to us. She's hung on for quite a while actually. That's an accurate representation of how you drive a Subaru. I can see why you do it. I'm not sure how much it costs you on tyres though. Especially when you leave the handbrake on. Okay, we're going to have to speed up a bit now. Uh oh, she's going, she's going! Mayday! May Oof! Wait, what? We've just entered the twilight zone. Holy moly. <laughs> what just happened? I got a minute. No, that doesn't work either. One second. Somebody forgot to put some road here. No. I just want a bit of solid ground. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, let's try back here then. Oh, the game's crashed. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. I've pressed F9 to spawn and the game's frozen. Thomas Hudson, thank you for the bits. <clears throat> so that happened. Maybe this is why I've never... <laughs> Maybe this is why I never drove down this road before, because I couldn't. <laughs> oh, boy. Right, restarting the game. <laughs> I'm going to have to find where we can teleport, like, beyond. As a warning, it takes a little while to load because it's got Pro Mods and Ros map. Well, it's gonna load a um, it's gonna load a checkpoint save. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave, there's deep, deep irony in your bit delivery. The fact that you tagged it as fail, but it's actually fail one. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Oh, you've not, you've, Ty, you've clearly not been here enough, mate. <laughs> that car put a curse on me. That, it did, didn't it? At the point where the car disappeared, it removed the road. I think the car fell through the map as well. I got a bad feeling about this. You're welcome, Bowmans. Enjoy your cup of tea. Chris94. <laughs> that was quite funny, though. Picked up a Subaru and pushed it for like a mile, and then the road just went. It's pretty good.
Okay. And now it's raining. Because random weather. Um. I think well, it turns right through there. And it was along here, I think, wasn't it? Let's see if we can get to. Um, this is where we picked up the Subaru. This is a road that doesn't exist. Oh, that's a bit of a giveaway. That's, that's definitely a bit of a giveaway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some crazy shenanigans going on here. What? I have never seen this. It's making Turn me think light. this, um, Wait, what? Oh, it's crashed. I'm thinking this version of Rust Maps, this unofficial conversion, isn't working very well. Either that, or it doesn't like playing ball with with Rust Map and Pro Modes. Yeah, I, I definitely think it's more to do with Rust Map than Pro Modes. Which Rust Map conversion is it? Um, it's the 1.90, the unofficial conversion. But yeah, I think we're gonna have to go a different way because this doesn't this doesn't look good. Well, this is it. The, the officially there's no update to Rust Map. It's an unofficial update. So the original author's not like updated it and signed it off for one thirty five. But I'm not so sure if it's Rust Map is the problem or Pro mods and Rust map is the problem. Welcome back, Nata. Welcome back, Mikard. ATA Briz. Welcome back. Welcome back, Nata. Mini sub bomb from. Who's that from? AN4211 to official Rumble Belly and Jack the Lot. Welcome, guys. Could be conflicting map. Welcome back, Nata. Uh, actually, don't see it. At HST. Aha, eleven months. Mercedes Blitz. Thank you, uh, HST. Thomas Hodson. To the nut house. Thank you for your biddies. I think I missed a few things when all the chaos happened. No problems with Pro Mods. I'm sure Pro Mods works absolutely fine. I think this is either Rust Map or, like I say, the integration with Pro Mod. The question is, what do we do about it? There are sections of this road here that are broken. I wonder if it's Rust Map that's caused that then. Maybe that's fine when Rust Map isn't working. It, at the moment, it feels to me like Rust Map has come in here and just smashed this town up. It's like broken this and broken that road. It's kind of done stuff to this. Yeah, exactly. It's like some overlapping city. I think I'm going to have to just Welcome go to the destination Nata. and hopefully we can get out of it up here. That's probably the better way of handling it. Because the only other viable alternative is to um, just uninstall uh, Rust Map. 
Actually, I might have to look at this. This looks well broken. Yeah, that's definitely... Okay, let's get rid of the rust map. It just, it's clearly got an issue. It doesn't like playing ball with pro mods. Caution road not found here. Yeah. It's definitely, I think the rust map probably works on its own, but whoever converted it to 135 didn't test it against pro mods, and it clearly doesn't work with pro mods. Good to know. Happy anniversary. Let's get rid of that. Nata. Get rid of those. Should do it. It's probably going to um, reset the reset the job and everything. The one by GMT GMT Alvarez is working better. I didn't realize there were two different versions of it, Chris. But again, like maybe they just haven't tested it with Pro Mods. <laughs> 